Hey guys! Alright, so I wanted to film this video for all of my friends who have asked me about my lipstick lately. Uh, this is, I don't know how people don't know about this, this is the greatest, oh hello! Huh, isn't that nice? Okay, let's restart. Urk. I wanted to film this video because I have been asked lately by several different people how in the world my lipstick is lasting all day long. I did this shoot the other day. We're in Texas, and so it is it's not quite 100 degrees yet, but melted. My hair was wet. All of my makeup was on my shirt except for my lipstick. And we were doing a themed shoot, so everybody had red lips, and I just wanted to, you know, fit in since I was the photographer. And the rest of the girls who were not out out there the whole time like I was, um, their lipstick was smearing. If they took a drink of something, their lipstick was everywhere. And it ended up, you know, if you've played with red lipstick, if you've ever worn red lipstick, you know not to drink anything out of a bottle. You have to drink from a straw or you get those crazy little smile lines. I had my holy grail of lipsticks on and I had the red shade because of the shoot. And at the end of the night, a couple of the girls came up to me and said, what lipstick are you wearing that can last through all of this? And I was like, let me tell you something. <laughs> and so here's what my video is about today. I am telling y'all something, okay? Um, these are my very favorite lipsticks. I have a huge lipstick drawer, but once I got hooked on these and they've been out, They've been out probably a year, I guess. Uh, the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks. This is what the tube looks like. They don't have a ton of colors. I think they've just released a bunch of new colors with Puma, I want to say. They're kind of some odd shades. Shades that I wouldn't be interested in. Uh, there's like a dark purple, like purple purple, like... Barney purple, really dark purple um, shade, and then there's some other odd like gray, and I wouldn't ever wear that. So that I'm not that trendy, I'm not that hip. My favorite shade, the one that I'm wearing right now, is called, it's number 65, it's called Seductress, and I don't know that this will focus on it, but that's it. Seductress is the one that I wear on a daily basis. If I need a nude shade, and I'm telling y'all, I have tried every kind of nude there is, and I can't quite land on the perfect one for me, but this is it. This is my shade. Let me warn you, <laughs> it says that these will last for 16 hours. They are not kidding. Now, my husband thinks it's the greatest thing in the world because I don't transfer lipstick onto him. I mean, I'm talking red lipstick, y'all. It doesn't transfer onto my husband, which is the craziest thing in the world. Um, the first time that I came out with the red lips and I puckered up and was gonna give him a kiss and he's like, no, absolutely not. He thinks it's the neatest thing that he's like, why don't you, why haven't you worn this the entire 20 years that we've known each other. Now I have several shades that I have collected up here. I don't know, I have one, two, three, four, five. I've got five that I'm going to show y'all today. Um, the, there it is, six that I'm going to show you today. Let me back up. Six that I'm going to show you. Um, these are dirty because they've been in my makeup bag, but I will say that they stay on so good that they are a little bit troublesome to get off. Hey, just jumping in here really fast. This is how dedicated I am to these lipsticks and to my YouTube subscribers. Then I am on here first thing in the morning with no makeup on. I just had to show you guys this. And I also wanted to show you my t-shirt. My sister bought it for me. So comment down below if you know at all what my shirt is talking about. I mean, like one of the best songs ever. <laughs> Um, I washed my face last night with my usual cleanser, which is just like a clay charcoal. Um, I think it's about L'Oreal. But anyway, and this is the, this is what's left of the swatches, which y'all will get to that in a minute. You haven't seen that yet, but this is what's left. After scrubbing my hand with several makeup wipes and the remover, and I took a bath last night and it's still on. So this stuff works. Um, this is what is left after I washed my face last night. And this is what I woke up to. Okay, <laughs> this is the color, this is the shade Ruler, which is this one right here, this is Ruler, um, but this is a little more so than normal because what I did is um, after I left y'all and I had, I believe, the red lipstick on, I wanted to tone that down just a little bit because I had a shoot at the studio, so I layered Ruler over the top of the red, and so I think I had two layers of lipstick on and this is the result. So if you have an event coming up that you really want your lipstick to last until tomorrow, use two layers. <laughs> 
Use two layers and you'll be set for the week. You'll have lipstick on the whole week and you'll be all good to go. Um, so it goes without saying that this is waterproof and soap proof. So in order to remove this, I'm gonna use coconut oil. I'm just gonna smear coconut oil on it and then scrub and it'll come off. So don't be scared, don't be terrified of that. I just wanted this to kind of confirm that this stuff lasts. If you want a lipstick that is waterproof, sweat proof, life proof, make out proof, this is your go-to right here. This is it, okay? All right, so let's get back to it with me all makeuped up. Bye, y'all. <laughs> um, when I just wash my face with my usual cleanser, uh, it I, the other night it was so funny, my husband was laughing because I had everything off my face. I turned around and still had my red lips. And he's like, nope, still got your lips on. And so I keep scrubbing and I just concentrated on my lips with just my cleanser they wouldn't move. So you really want to use a makeup remover, like a wipe, um, or just an actual makeup remover, like the eye makeup remover, will break it down. Um, and if you don't have any of that, <laughs> if all else fails, the easiest thing to do is coconut oil. Um, just put a little coconut oil on, rub it in, which is great for your lips anyway, and then just use a rag and wipe that off. And so it, it's easy, it comes off, but it stays on. I am a wedding photographer this time of year especially, and we're in Texas, and so no matter what, you're gonna get hit by the heat. So if I'm gonna shoot a wedding, these are what I'm gonna wear. I'm not gonna fool with anything else. This is what I'm wearing on the wedding day. And so I have a lot of brides, and if I were going to recommend a lipstick for them, these would be it. This is it. So you're gonna look for, I don't know if I told y'all that, it is the Superstay Matte Ink. Not the glosses, the matte ink. I'm gonna pull it back here so the color's a little more accurate. And the colors that I have, I have Ruler, which is this kind of mauve red shade. And then I have, my favorite is Seductress number 65. And then a dud for me, one that did not work with my skin tone, is number five is called Loyalist. And I'll show you all these. I can swatch them if y'all want or if you want me to put them on. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. My lips may not, <laughs> may that may not work since it doesn't come off very well. I may just have to swatch it. So this one is super light. So watch this. They're so opaque that it would cover, it would cover my lipstick that I have on. I feel like I need a little more color than this one has. So this one's not my favorite. It's Loyalist, but I think it just doesn't work with my skin tone. All right, so these are the three red shades because I love a red. And then I have kind of a tomato red. And then my absolute favorite is a blue red. And so let me tell you the names of it. This is the one that's a brighter, kind of an orangey red is called Dancer and it's number 118, Dancer. And I'll swatch them real quick for you in just a second. And then Groundbreaker is number 117. It is the one that's a little bit darker, a little more rusty red. And then my absolute favorite is called Pioneer and it is number 20. This one came from CVS. So some of mine came from Ulta, some of them came from CVS obviously. And I've even found them at Target and Walmart. So, okay, so this is what we've got. Maybe they're dry enough. It takes a minute or so for them to dry and set, but let's see. <laughs> okay, so you think that's, I mean, you know, yeah, okay, that's kind of impressive, but if I can get this off, we will try red and I will show you that it doesn't transfer. And that is the seller. That's the kicker. Um, I think these are round. It depends on where you get them from. Um, I have paid as little as $9.96 at Ulta. They have them on sale right now, I think, for $9.96. And then I've paid around $11 at CVS. So somewhere around that price. And you cannot go wrong with these. I feel like I have a little bit of lipstick on right now just because I have the two coats on. But normally when they dry down, they're super comfortable. Um, my sister is very sensitive to certain makeups and so she only wears Clinique. And we were together one day a couple of weeks ago and I told her, I said, I've got to go in and get another shade. And so she was with me and she was like, no, I'm not going to buy any. I only wear Clinique. And I'm like, okay. So we get in the car and my mom and sister, we were all together. We were having lunch. And I said, well, y'all got to try this out. I think it was, 
I think that was the day that I bought Ruler, which is the purpley mauve shade. And I said, okay, so y'all try this on and see what you think. And so my sister wiped off her Clinique. She had decided to succumb to Maybelline and try it out. And so she put it on, mom put it on. And then that night, um, after we had done our shopping and hung out all day long, they both texted me and said, now what was that lipstick again? <laughs> because it's still on. So let's swatch it real fast if I can get it off. I may have to go get my coconut. No, it's not coming off. I mean, these little wipes that I have are like generic. I think they're Target brand. <laughs> they're not touching it. It is not coming off. Look at that. So I'm just going to get it off enough so that hopefully so that y'all can see the color and see how this applies. Let's do my other favorite. So my two favorites are Seductress and then this Blue Red. And you can tell that I have used it to death. This one is the one that came from CVS and it's called Pioneer. And this is the perfect Blue Red to make your teeth look even whiter. And so let me get my, you want, this is important, you want to make sure that you have it on correct because there ain't no going back. <laughs> There's not any fudging if you color outside the lines. Okay, so this is the applicator and here we go. And a little lipstick on my teeth. And it takes it just a little bit to dry down. You'll be able to tell. It kind of feels a little tacky right now. So you'll be able to tell when it dries down. Let's do the swatch test while this is drying. We have Loyalist, which may be perfect for you. It's not perfect for me. It's kind of a peachy pink. Seductress. But we have Loyalist and then Seductress. So those are those two shades. Maybe you can see there is a little bit of a difference. Number 80 is Ruler. I think that my swatching is just beautiful. <laughs> and these do dry down a little bit darker than what they swatch. So when you're looking at them in the store, it's a little hard to tell what color that you're going to end up with. They'll dry down a little bit darker than what you're seeing. So just kind of keep that in mind. So this is Groundbreaker number 117. Okay, so we have Loyalist, Seductress, and Groundbreaker. Wait, oh, I've forgotten. Groundbreaker was the one that we just did and this one was Ruler. The mauve one is Ruler and see you can tell it's still a little bit wet but this was Groundbreaker. This is my favorite. This one is my favorite. It's more of a what I consider like a raspberry red. Um, this one's Pioneer but this one is really a contender and it is called Dancer and it's number 118. I think it's a new one. This is probably what I would consider a true red. So it's more of an orangey red. I don't know if it's gonna show up in my swatches, but that's more of an orangey red. And then my favorite is Pioneer. And you'll see when it's right beside it that it's more of a blue red, but it does dry down a little bit darker. Blue red. This is my Pioneer. This is this shade and see it did dry. Stick it up my nose. This did dry the same as the bottle. So if you're looking Look at the bottle and then think just a tiny bit darker than that. I mean, that's because to me, this is a little bit darker than what this is. Can y'all tell that? So this is my beautiful swatching job. This is the blue red one that I was just describing. Let me tell y'all the names again because I get confused. Okay, so this one is Pioneer. This is the blue red. Dancer is more of an orangey red. I'm going to pull them back here so the lights don't affect it. Orangey red, blue red, and then this red is kind of a rusty red. Can you see that? This one here is a rusty red. This is number 117 Groundbreaker is the rusty red. And then we have Ruler, Seductress, and Loyalist. Those are the nudes and then we kind of go to the mauves and then of course I have three reds. <laughs> that is me. This is with my cheap makeup remover. <sighs> they ain't coming off y'all. They are in it to win it, let me tell you. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all that. These things, they, they're super stay matte ink, for real. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all. These things are legit. This is my favorite red, and I believe it's dried down enough while we've been doing our swatches. So let's see, here's my blank, non-kissed hand, and we're gonna kiss it. I mean, hello. Is that not the most impressive thing you've ever seen? <laughs> They're never going to come off my hand. <laughs> They're not. They're just going to stay there. Um, 
coconut oil is your friend, let me tell you. So this is the lipstick that you need. If you have an active lifestyle or if you've got a special event that you don't want to transfer your lipstick onto your date, this is what you need. Run out, spend your at most $11 is what I've paid for it, 11 something. Um, and that's just probably CVS is a little bit more expensive, but these are my favorite lipsticks, y'all. These are them. This is it. You can't go wrong because they don't come off. And I love that about them. All right. Okay. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you'll please like and subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I have another video and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye guys.